beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the Word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed I'd like us to read just verse 1 together. If you're there, say amen. Right, let's read one to go. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endure it forever. One more time. Oh, give thanks unto Um if you have not listened to last week's teaching i think it's very important it was a word that the lord gave me for the body of christ while revivals fail in that teaching we discuss the reality of the humanity of man that man although divine can be weak can be tired can be frustrated and in it we shared the spiritual strategy that is responsible for sustenance when your humanity catches up with you and it looks like life is not delivering for you the kind of result it should deliver there is a technology and a system in the spirit with which you will be able to rise above the limitations of the flesh and so um, i think it's important for us to listen to the message very carefully and god will bless us now it is it is part of our human nature please listen carefully it is part of our human nature to desire the best in life to desire the best of everything you know we have all kinds of teachings and many of those teachings have come from this platform where we challenge mediocrity where we challenge an average life we spur people among other things into excellence that they excel in every area of their lives and so if at any point we see that you are underutilizing your potentials and you are not becoming all that God desires, we challenge you to strive higher, to rise higher. Um, and especially in our context of civilization, there is this craving for more. Craving for more. Somehow, we always believe that there is more. Is that not true? No matter how great we accomplish things whether academically maritally spiritually something in us tells us there is more for instance thank god for the way he's honored the ministry thank god for the testimonies and the wonderful things he's doing within this region and around the nation and beyond the opportunity he's given us to contribute our quota towards kingdom advancement and uh, giving people an opportunity for encounters and transformation but then we know that there is more is that not so that as great as what we have seen is is only the beginning of greater yes we even sing songs like we're on our way to better days and so on and so forth but then um that kind of lifestyle also has a side effect and that's what i want to deal with very briefly 
um, if we are not careful and we do not check, balance it, we can get to a point in our lives where perpetually there is a craving for more, more money, more reputation, more prestige, more anointing, more grace, more children, for some more wives. You know, we want more, more of everything. Even in our world today, if you come up with a product, after one year, people want more. Is that not true? You have to catch up with the pace. There seems to be a desire. Every year, we produce new cars. So if you come up with a, a brand this year, in just 12 months, people communicate their tiredness and they want the latest. We call it in our generation, the latest. The latest of everything. When you meet people, you tell them, what's the latest? What's the latest fashion? Um, that is very important except for the fact that it can have a side effect and the side effect is that in an attempt to pursue more we many times fail to calm down and begin to take inventory of what God had done so far you see when you desire more that hunger in you can push you to a point where you cannot even see what is do, what is happening at the current level because you are hoping for more. Are we together now? So, you are trusting God for a house of your own, a three or four or five bedroom flat. And sometimes you can so desire it that you may not even see a need to calm down and say, but come to think of it, at least I have a house. I have somewhere to lay my head. You can drive and you are trusting god you know for a master's degree a phd and all of that and sometimes you can forget to say ah at least i had the opportunity to be sponsored by someone to go to school are we together now and so the psalmist in an attempt to help us maximize the workings of god in our lives creates a pause and says oh give thanks to the lord he said for he is good and his mercy endures forever. The revelation of the goodness of God. And the fact that even in our mistakes. Even in our setbacks. The mercy of God has the capacity to cover. He said give him thanks for it. Because the Bible says it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. When a ministry like this starts. And after a few years, it is still standing and making impact is because of the goodness and the mercy of God. Are we together now? When a lady gets married and in nine months she can celebrate a child, her brother came and gave a testimony. At the beginning of the year, the loved ones were trusting God for a miracle. After 10 years and just submitting a prayer request, about nine months thereabout, they return with a testimony of twins. Now, it's easy to enjoy that and the man say, look, prepare for another one. We have to cover ground. Ten years is not a joke. Praise the Lord. Sometimes we are caught up in, I call it a sin. The sin of ingratitude. The inability to pause through our various activities and reflect on the faithfulness and the mercy of God. I'm a very creative thinker. I think very, very intricately. I think in between the lines. And it has helped me as a person to periodically take inventory of my life. And while I began to seek God for this miracle service, there was one word that came from the Lord. And he said, tell my people, to take out time and thank me and communicate gratitude for what I have done for them so far. It may not look like much compared to what you want, but brothers and sisters, every one of us is here tonight because we are alive. If a dead body was seated close to you, it's only because you are alive that you can trust God for a life partner. It's only because you are alive that you can even trust God to heal you of cancer. Are we together? We can fall into that trap of forgetting the faithfulness of God. Lord, you did this for me today. 
can't you do more and we keep pushing at god and using every spiritual principle to tie down his hand lord i gave my tithe you should increase me lord i did this i sowed a seed for a husband what is happening i call him wherever he is from the realm of the spirit up here now i must marry and so on and so forth and then we don't take out time to say but lord i'm grateful if you never do anything for me again you don't owe me anything i owe you thanks for the rest of my life you passed a road where you saw them bringing out pieces of dead bodies and at the point you passed the road you were insulting somebody yet the mercy of god kept you you would have been a cheap victim for the devil it was never about our righteousness and holiness are we together now you can get up in the morning and say i'm going to do this and that that is only a factor when you are alive listen let me tell you something god is so wise he created life and made himself the ultimate custodian of life if life were given to the hand of man to give another person you would see the wickedness of men at its apex and so god subjected every man no matter how stubborn to the law of life and death so that no man will claim in his heart that there is no god it was pharaoh that got up and made a lot of noise and bragging about the nation of israel and in one night god brought him to his knees listen brothers and sisters there are unseen battles that god has fought for us are we together while we sleep we just wake up in the morning and move around he never gets to reveal to us the way that he has fought all kinds of battles for us there are many of us by the plan of satan you are not supposed to see this month it is a shock to the devil that you are still alive because according to the plan everything should happen and based on what satan saw there was nothing that would stop it but they forgot about a factor called the mercy of God. At the point where hell had concluded, like it happened to Job in the heavens, that today, make sure this person does not return back. You return back and you were enjoying yourself and never thought to give him thanks. You know, people send me all kinds of text messages. Oh, apostle, you are this, you are that. Look at the mighty things God is doing. When I read those text messages, I just nod my head. I say, don't be mistaken. Don't let this body fool you. I'm a product of God's mercy. He trained me well enough to understand that if there is ever any reason for men to celebrate anything in my life is because of his mercy. I'm not embarrassed about it. I have mastered the art of taking advantage of the mercy and the goodness of God. Are we together now? Oh God, you can do this for me. Oh God, you can do this. We are a generation of complainers and grumblers. And our civilization has wired us that way. There is always a lust for more. Lord, you gave me a husband, but we are staying in a one-bedroom flat. And the Lord is saying, remember, the same person who was saying, Oh God, if you give me a husband, I will be grateful. Now you have a husband. Then he gives you two bedroom flat and you say, Lord, we need another place where there are no neighbors. I'm, I'm allergic to noise. It's amazing. Listen, in Deuteronomy chapter 8, don't turn there. When you begin to read from verse 14 down to 18, the Bible says, let it not be that when you have built houses when your crops are increased and etc etc he said that you tell yourself my power and the might of my hand has given me this wealth he said but thou shalt remember meaning it is in our human nature to forget i will not forget lord your benefits how can i forget how can i forget lord your benefit we will never forget we will not forget lord i will never forget i will not forget lord one of the greatest secrets of my life it's not just prayer and fasting it's not just the word but i learned this from my father 
is one of the most priceless lessons I've learned from him. My father is a grateful man. I have never met a man in my life as grateful as my father. And I checked the psalmist and I found out that what that was the key. The Bible called him a man after God's heart. The psalmist knew how to touch God in an area where he would have to respond to him. Gratitude. The ability to pause in the busyness of life, in the busyness of wanting to be successful and say, Lord, I acknowledge you. You are the faithful one. And then to begin to remember the days when you were nothing. And to remember how he took you. There are people, for instance, who have graduated now. Remember how many times you had to write jam and write it again. And how many people looked at you at that point in your life. And vowed that you would not become anything. And you had no right to explain to them. Because the truth is you were a victim of what they were saying. Yet in a mystery you cannot explain the hand of the Lord took you and brought you to a position where today you can stand and rejoice and say I've written my last exam. How about many of us who are arguing and insulting around for promotion and we forget how that we kept running from pillar to post and by his majesty you were not praying, you were not fasting, you were not even expecting it. God just opened a door and wiped the tears of our family. Our generation is a very ungrateful generation. It is always easy to pick up the things that God has done and say, yes, Lord, but it's small. Do something major for me so that when I testify, I will give you thanks. And God is saying, if you cannot thank me for my finger, you will not see my hand. And if you cannot recognize my hand, you will not see all of me gratitude the ability to say lord i thank you there is a, listen 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 when you thank god you not only thank god because things are nice when you thank god because things are nice you are carnal you are sensory you are thanking god because of your sensory perception the bible says give thanks in all things for this is the will of god the will of god is that no situation in your life can stand your thanksgiving and your gratitude to God. Oh, I remember. I remember where he brought me from. How could I forget? There is no level of the accolades of men that will make me ever forget where God brought me from. I look around and I see my colleagues and contemporaries. And I look at many people. And I see how much by his faithfulness, he has granted me the privilege to go ahead. To do so many things i talk to pastors and leaders and i see their frustration over ministry how they struggle they 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 try to get their messages free of charge for people but nothing works and yet we see the glory and the grace of god it's a reason to thank him it's a reason to thank him there was a time in my life i was diagnosed i've shared it with us fungal infection right there was no hospital I did not go to. They checked around, checked around, did everything. It was obvious my head was literally becoming rotten. Literally becoming rotten. They banned me from going to the dining hall because they said I was irritating other students. And so I would stay behind and when the students were about to go, I would beg somebody with a plate to please help me collect food. And sometimes in a bid to get their own, they forget my own. The mercy of God. The faithfulness of God. I walk around and I see people who are old enough to be my parents. Old enough to be um, 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 elderly people. And they see me and you say, good afternoon, sir. And I'm like, ah, please don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me. Listen. One of the keys to getting the hand of God upon your life and frustrating the counsel of Satan is the recognition of everything God does. Gratitude is the key for more in the spirit. You never are qualified to see more of God until you thank him generously. Lord, I'm collecting 100,000. Are you not faithful? Can I not collect 200,000? And God is saying, 
you go outside and stand in the street and watch people who will jump at 100 naira they will jump at 100 naira with gratitude with tears in their eyes they will come upon the altar and testify because somebody gave them a seed of 100 naira and here you are holding 100,000 and saying Lord I thank you but you can do something more I choose to be a grateful person. I choose to recognize his faithfulness at all times. That you thank God. You weary Satan when you thank God. Because see, let me tell you something. Satan understands the principle of increase in the spirit. That when a man can settle with God and thank God, most of our prayers, the thanksgiving we give before our prayers are only preambles. To give us room so that we now start petitioning God. So we come to God like this. Father, thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful. What we're trying to do is, oh God, you directed us to come before you with thanksgiving. I'm doing it. Be watching. Now, you finish it quickly and say, God, let's settle down now. This is what I have. There are men who have walked this earth and they have mastered the art of holding the hands of God. Thanksgiving is like a magnet. Gratitude is like a magnet. God cannot resist gratitude. Sincere gratitude. Especially when what you are thanking God for is really not something that humanly speaking should warrant thanksgiving. There are people who pay attention to every detail. Every detail. Oh God did this. Lord I recognize it. Every time I do this specifically for miracle services. The moment I am done with miracle services, I return back. The moment I get home, one of the few things that I do, either immediately or later, is to go down on my knees. And I just hold the chair and say, Lord, I thank you for proving yourself. I've seen men of God come on stage and say the power of God is going to move. 30 minutes later, they are still speaking stories. Don't worry, did you people fast today? The power of God is going to move. Just take it easy. And all kinds of things. Yet he has honored us with his presence. Brothers and sisters, as a family of faith, we have reason to thank God. There are churches that love God, but they have been victims of bomb blast. Never for once. We transport people every week from here to Congo to Shika around. And we've not had any issue of a car capsiding and all kinds of things. We've had people here escape the hands of armed robbers. It's God speaking to us. I know you came with prayer requests. I came with mine too. I know that you came with sincere needs. But brothers and sisters, we are going to take a few minutes and thank his majesty. For many of you, just that thanksgiving will be the key to releasing your miracle. That the heavens will never open. You have not thanked God for what he did. You are not married, but at least you are in a relationship. A godly relationship with a brother whose head is correct and he loves God. That's a great blessing. Listen, never trivialize anything in your life that God has done. It will destroy you and it will keep you at that level. If nine things go wrong in your life, look for the one thing that is right. And say, Father, I give you thanks. The truth is there are nine things that are wrong in my life. But for this one, it's undeniable. I have seen your hand. And God says, you can thank me. I see that you were bereaved. You lost somebody in your house. Yet you are thanking God that it was not your whole family members that died. And God will say, such faith. Such faith. See, brothers and sisters, when you see certain people stumble into repeated cycles of breakthrough there is something they have done it didn't just happen are we together when you see god focus on certain people and arise like a mighty warrior and visit them is because they have done something that has touched him it's more than sowing a seed it's more than money it's even more than praising and dancing Praising and dancing are only expressions. Gratitude is from the heart. You use praise 
dance, your seed, and etc., as an expression. Is God speaking to us? I have learned the danger of refusing to thank God. When God gives you a thing and you do not thank Him, that thing starts diminishing in your life. I don't care what it is. Whatever you do not thank God for will start diminishing mysteriously from your life because it means that you do not qualify to have it. I will not forget, Lord. Your faithfulness. How can I forget, Lord? Hallelujah. I remember we meet, we meet once in a year as a family. Everybody comes from everywhere, and we sit down on the first of January to just thank God for what He had done in the family and to speak into the year. And every time, all my father does for, for more than 30 minutes, we are going to thank God. When it's his session to lead prayers, we know that we are ready to sit there because he's going to mention everything. And then he will pass the button to my mother and she will pick it up from there. And you know women, Lord, I thank you. My son came all the way from Zaria. He even said he went to Abuja. The other time he went to this. Are you not faithful? This is how my mother prays oh lord the other day was it not here in this house you did a miracle for us we thank you and all of us are quietly while growing up we did not understand we felt it was boredom you know these elderly people you are thanking god thanking god go straight to the point lord we thank you do this for us amen but the more you advance in life you will understand this ancient wisdom of parents that they spend time saying thank you like fools and while we young people are feeling bored they are saying it's because you've not they've gone through things in life that can eat them up and they have mastered the art of thanking God for everything it's one of the unbeatable secrets of longevity that you get up in the morning and say Lord I thank you statistic tells us that eight people die per second eight people including Christians including pastors there's a gentleman that sent me a text i don't know if his brother is in this place he will be coming out of prison in december i shared it with the leaders and he'll be coming here to testify he was a ruffian and a hooligan and his lifestyle got him into prison and he's been there i think for the past three years it was while he was in the prison he remembered that his younger brother or thereabout used to listen to my message and then he was able to get some of the messages they allowed him to have some of the messages he got born again he got serious with god he's even one of the people in the chapel the prison chapel and he said his time will be due by december and i don't know how he was able to get access to the phone to send text he said thank god for bringing me to this prison because it was that i used to hear my brother listen to koinonia messages and i would scorn him but in this place i found god when last did you thank god for all the mountains and the challenges in your life that have made you wiser and stronger and better and matured and a better leader when last did you thank god for all the gates you had to confront when you are a man of gratitude you frustrate satan because there is no way he can come the goal of satan's attack upon people is to bring them to a point where the faithfulness of god is questioned in their lives and through them to god so people say god where are you but when you get to a point where you say lord let me tell you in advance if nothing in my life ever moves forward i cannot stop thanking you when satan hears that is a nightmare because you have worried him you go to the hospital they check you and they say the bp is still there oh the bp in fact is even worse than it was the last time you say no problem lord i thank you because i'm alive i know that you gave me a word your bible your word says by your stripes i am healed you tested yourself ss or as and they say the marriage cannot hold and you go and check it again and you come out and you sing before god and you thank him 
do not get into this lifestyle that many people live i hate complainers it irritates me I, I i cannot i cannot i honestly cannot stand it when i stand around people who are naggy and complaining five minutes they are talking about something somebody somewhere i run away from those people because they have the ability to destroy my progress they are not bad people but they are violating a spiritual law for advancement and i intend to move forward so god helps you he gave you 10 naira to buy a tie and you leave the tie before god and say lord this is your faithfulness i never imagined i would get a shirt now you have added a tie for me he adds a tie clip and you say lord i just noticed that you added a tie clip and god said what sort of person are you you mean you are doing this to me let him have a greater supply and he gives you a shoe and he said lord who am i who am i i ask you for a palm sandals and you gave me a shoe i'm grateful and while you are saying that people will look at you and say you are thanking god for a tie and a palm sandals are you stupid what about the admission what about the job how long will you marry or will you stay before you get married you are 37 are you aware you say i'm aware of that keep that one aside lord i thank you I thank you for the fact that I started a small shop and people are coming to eat. I know that my desire is that I will have a restaurant in the future. But for this small shop, two people came today and ate. As a pastor, you are crying and asking God for members and seven people come. And you don't just yell your anger on all of them and shout at them. But you say lord i thank you because these people who are coming are not yet members these are my leaders and so i will train them and i will be serious my faithfulness with seven people will bring a crowd i remember our first crusade we were very few a handful of people god did great things but we were very few but i remember thanking the lord for it we could not even afford a video camera but we thank god for it do you realize that for some of you, this is the word of the Lord to you tonight. You have allowed ingratitude. Listen, God knows we are humans. Brothers and sisters, I taught us last week. It is true that the vicissitudes of life have a way of pushing a man to a point where you are so overwhelmed. I know, I know that you need to pay the school fees of your children. I know that nobody sponsors you. I know that you have HIV and the antiretroviral drugs are beginning to fail. I know that the infirmity has remained here. I know that the devil has attacked your family. There are families here that have come from different places. They have come literally as whole families to come and cry before God. I understand. I will be a fool to deny the presence of that. We are humans. It's okay to be human. I taught us last week. It's okay to cry. It's okay to express your pain. But remember. Remember the things that he has done in your life. Not the things he has not done. If there is one testimony in your life. It's a sign that more are coming. If God gave you one testimony. Remember David. When he killed the lion and killed the bear when he stood before goliath he went to the archives of his testimonies and said the god who gave me the lion the god who gave me the bear that same god will deliver me that's how to confront challenges in life you look at your body and they tell you you have fibroid or ovarian cyst and it's increasing yes you are you are going through pains and you are bleeding but you say i remember there was a time I used to have a wound that would not heal. And the power of God healed it. The God who healed that will do the same for me. Please, I'm teaching you how to frustrate Satan. Don't let the devil have a toll on you. Don't let the devil mark you for ingratitude. When the devil marks you for ingratitude, he will keep orchestrating events in your life that will keep you angry, complacent, do you know how many people die of high blood pressure and hypertension and all of those things are caused by frustration that you give God thanks God gives you a job while you are rejoicing they suddenly call you 
and say, sorry, something has happened. Um, we may not be able to take the people again. And you've gone to testify in the house of God. And you turn back and say, Lord, you are faithful. I give you praise. Pastor Jakes always says he's a faithful God. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Your situation, irrespective, he is good. Everybody say, God is good. Say it, God is good. Look your challenges to the face and say, God is good. Say, my God is good. Yes, my God is good. My God is good. I don't know about yours, but my God is a good God. My God is a good God. I'll never forget one time when a car hit me many years ago. I ran to go and buy, was it Gary or Chinchin or something? And 10 naira was about to take my life. I think it was Gary or something. I wanted to hurriedly soak it and help myself in a bit to cross back. The devil just orchestrated it because he knew that there are millions of lives that must be changed and blessed and he just came and the car it was i was i was in the middle of the road i didn't know what to do all i had was there was sound of a break and there was it was as if i was dreaming i just saw myself at the other side of the car and i had people shouting hold him hold him they said if they don't hold me i'll stand up and i'll be mad i just looked at them i looked at my garage there i picked it i told them i said give me yes I said I'm fine I'm fine I'm okay that night my leg there was it it swelled up for days there was intense pain but God is my witness I said I have met death and I overcame that's why I don't fear death I've gone through too many things in my life I've slept on speaker I've slept on amplifier I've, I've come on now Muimaka Sujada Muimaka 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 Sujada Muimaka Muimaka Ninaimaka Sujada Lord I give you I give you I give you the highest praise I give you I give you I give you the highest praise. I give you, I give you, I give you the highest praise. Very soon I'm going to give us room. About 10 minutes. And it's going to be exclusive expressions of gratitude. It's going to be you alone. I know you came for a miracle service. But father, mother, brother, sister, you're going to forget about whoever you came with. I don't know how you are going to express it, but I'll give us room shortly. You are going to begin to count your blessings and say, my God, was it not just last month I had an accident? I never gave you thanks for it. Lord, I'm, I'm grateful. I started small, but see what you have made out of my life. Lord, we started from two members and now we are 35. I thank you. I thank you. When a situation overwhelmed me, I did not know that morning will come. Yet you have kept me. That it has become 20 years. I remember when they said I had a heart disease, for instance. Oh Lord, see what you have done in my life. They said people die in our village. They don't get to 20. Now I am 60 years. I give you thanks. Expressions of gratitude. We forget many times. We forget. We are asking God for more. Lord, do more for me. But you are alive. But you are healthy. You go to the hospital and see people hanging their legs. Hanging their legs for six months. And you hear them singing praises. Day and night with their legs hanging. If you can be grateful, not just tonight, if you make it a lifetime, I guarantee you, there is no arsenal of hell against you that will prosper. You will, you will, you will thank your way to the throne. You will march through your challenges through thanksgiving until you get to the throne. 
it's an unbeatable secret of greatness i thank god all the time i thank people all the time gratitude a simple but powerful secret that opens the heavens for a man hallelujah every everywhere that i go everything that i do i'll hear in sanana yeah, yeah, yeah. that's my testimony i'll hear in sanana i'll hear in hope Help me some. alone with your maker lift your voice and cry in whatever way you can and say my god i give you thanks my god i give you thanks go ahead you and your maker for the next 10 minutes for the next 10 minutes cry before him for the next 10 minutes that you have won only you alone are worthy lord we magnify your name thank you jesus protector redeemer provider defender announcer lifter sustainer we thank you we thank you that the council of darkness has not prevailed over your people we thank you for the miracles we thank you for signs for wonders for food for shelter we thank you for your faithfulness 
for exalting our heads like the horn of the unicorn. We thank you for miracle jobs. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you for our families. Oh God, you have been good. Oh God, you have been good. Three more minutes. Give him thanks. us to thank God in one minute thank God in one minute for ENI and Koinonia I'd like us to thank God for the awesome things he's doing let's tell him we are grateful people for giving us a platform where the sick can be healed where lives can be transformed go ahead and thank him Lord we give you thanks not ashamed to let the world see that you are the mysterious factor behind our advancement we are not ashamed to declare to the world that you are our sustainer defender protector our hope our anchor we have no other God we have no other place you alone Lord God deserve the glory of grace and the anointing if it ever embarrasses you to thank God then you will never see his glory if you are ever ashamed and so conscious of your reputation you are so conscious of your emoji man of God I'm a great this and that all those things are nonsense when you come before his presence you throw them aside say faithful God For the things you have done and the battles you have won, only you are worthy of our praise. We magnify your name. For the things you have done and the battles you have won, only you. Find your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are Hallelujah. Psalms 107. I already sense the power of God. We'll just read this and go straight into the ministrations. Psalms 1. Oh, 07 we're going to read verse 6 and then we'll read 28 to 30 I want to show you another mystery two mysteries one is gratitude the second listen is a mystery 
I've seen this thing many times in the Bible. I want you to read it. One, two, read. Stop. Just the A part. One more time. It says, then they cried unto the Lord. There is a mystery when a man cries to the Lord. I used to think it meant just lifting your voice and be loud until God opened my eyes. Every time you see them say in their distress, they cried unto God. In their distress, crying unto God is more than talking. Crying unto God first starts with a revelation that Lord, if you don't help me in this issue, I am finished. It's a revelation. For as long as you have options, you will never see God arise in your life. Until you exhaust all your options and you come to a point where you say, Lord, they gave me the drugs in the hospital. But I acknowledge that is crying unto God. That you say, Lord, you are my priority. If you don't give me a husband, I cannot get one. If you don't give me a job, there is no job for me. Crying to the Lord is more than just saying, Oh God, help me. Blind Bartimaeus cried, and this was his cry. Thou son of David, or not thou miracle worker, I know you, I know your power. Will you pass me by and leave me in my distress like this? I'm blind, but I've heard about you. That you are the God who can wipe the tears of people. I've heard about you that you are the one who makes the barren to sing. I've heard about you that you are the one who raised Job back. I've heard about you. It says they cried unto the Lord. Whenever you are in trouble, stop discussing. The key is to cry unto God. We have prayer requests here. Many of us are standing, trusting God to touch us. The key tonight is to cry unto God. And the Bible says he delivered them out of their distresses. Verse 28. 28 very quickly. One more time. Let's read. One to read. Again, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And what did he do? He bringeth them out of their distresses. Next verse. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof, the waves that are killing you, that looks like you will not survive. He says God has the ability. There is something he can tell that trouble. It must hear his voice. Next verse. He says then, as a result, they are glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them where? Unto their desired heaven. Listen. God knows your intentions. God knows your desire. He has the ability to bring you to where? Your desired heaven. But the key, after gratitude, you are authorized to cry. To cry to the Lord is not an embarrassment. When you cry, you are saying, Oh God, let your goodness and your mercy speak. At this point, it's not because of what I have done. At this point is if it is with my intellect if it's with my money if it's with my connection I have failed I cry to you in my distress in the next one minute before I minister we are going to cry to God listen I told you crying to God is a revelation a revelation that acknowledges him as your only source tonight you are going to say Lord you are the only one you are the only one who can heal me I know this and tonight I cry to you. The Bible says he can calm the storm. He can calm the storm. Oh yes, he can. Lift your voice and cry to your maker. Thou son of David. Let your goodness and your mercy speak over me tonight. Pray. Lord, there is nothing new about my situation. You have done it before. The Bible is full of records of your faithfulness. How you parted the Red Sea before people. How overnight you turned the captivity of men and women. Pray, Lord, I don't know how you will do it, but I know you can do it. 
they cried unto the Lord in their trouble he said call upon me in the day of trouble cry to the Lord my rent has expired I'm not working I have no idea but I cry to you I have multiple carryovers I don't know what will happen to me but I cry to you thou O oh God the lifter up of my head the one who is able to change my story I have not come to an idol it is within your power to help me oh thou Ebenezer arise for me you are my Ebenezer the helper of man God can help you listen to me God can help you God can help you they cried unto the Lord in their distress cry unto the Lord and watch what he will do in your life don't give him options don't give him options Lord you are my only source I cry to you pray my only hope of entering into my desired heaven some trust in horses some trust in chariots but we will trust in the name of our God Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Lift your voice and sing inside and outside. Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Come on, let your faith rise tonight. Lord, step in to the impossible. Lord, step in, Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. One more time. Lord, step in, Lord, step in. Step hallelujah the Lord is healing a lady right now please check yourself and you just come out to testify before we continue I'm seeing a lady you came here with severe pain on your neck check it now check it now the Lord is touching you the Lord is touching you I'm seeing an elderly man in this place um, you've been having pains towards the lower abdominal region the Lord has just touched that man right now. He's an elderly man. I don't know where that person is. Please testify. Check yourself. And immediately you find out you are healed. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. God is touching people right now. I don't know who I'm seeing an ear. God is touching someone's ear. It's like, I don't know if it's an ear issue. But God is touching it right now. God is touching it right now. God is touching it right now. Please check yourself. And make your way right now right now let's just have two or three of those people god is touching it right now right now doing a miracle for somebody um i'm seeing somebody that has i don't know if it's um i don't know what to call it but it's like a serious stomach issue it comes and hooks you literally you are gasping for breath when that happens to you it's like it literally holds you Check yourself now. You will find out that the Lord has touched you. Make your way to the front. 
very quickly you can make your way right here miracles are happening come on give jesus praise miracles are happening miracles are happening god is touching people right now can you give jesus praise god is touching people god is touching people right now i'm seeing someone with an eye problem you see like a black object it comes and goes it's like a it's, it looks like a needle like a black object you'll be looking at people and then you will see it this has happened for a while but god has touched you right now who is that person make your way to the front right now i'm seeing someone's left leg outside in the overflow there is someone with a left leg issue left leg is like you came towards the, the, the um this area where i'm holding i'm seeing the power of god touch that area check it right now check it right now and confirm your healing and make your way to the front check it right now confirm your healing make your way to the front hallelujah have they checked themselves sir? you've checked yourself okay so quickly we'll just take two or three you can turn please come up come up let them come up when you come you can stand please come up man come up sir go ahead just tell us quickly straight to the point praise the lord uh, i have an ear issue and it normally scratch me sometimes okay and i'm feeling better by completely give right jesus now. praise hallelujah give jesus praise it never returns to you in the name of jesus yes sir please let's celebrate jesus celebrate what he's doing yes. for some yes for some years i have been experiencing pain here pain he, at yes. the lower abdominal yes, region abdominal yes. yes you know i gave a word of knowledge yes. that there was somebody lower it's abdominal. Better. and how, how about better. now exactly it's better. in the name of jesus christ lord we declare that it is perfected wow the power of god is coming on you it's perfected right now never to return to you in the name of jesus please check it sir check it check it right now check it okay. it's check getting it. better yes and pain. i'm feeling better feeling you will better. be perfected in the name of Amen. the lord jesus christ Amen. give jesus praise praise the lord for the past two weeks now i've been having ear pain ear it's pain a, it's an attack okay i have cold i have kata so the thing blocked my ear i don't used to hear very well so now i'm i'm okay completely yes madam what the lord is bringing increase for you i'm seeing attack i'm seeing a serious attack your money has gone down yes because this this i'm seeing this has to do with I don't know if you sell hair or you are doing I, something. I have salon in center. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it's like an attack. This thing yes, has gone down. People are not even coming the way it used to be yes, before again. Yes, is that true? Yes. The Lord is saying, I should tell you in this miracle service, a restoration comes for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a restoration comes for you right now. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. God is visiting situations right now. Visiting situations right now. Go ahead, please, quickly. I want because I've been having serious pain on my neck at times. Neck pain? Yes, okay, the lady I said with neck pain, how long? It's like, it's for months, it comes and goes. At times, it's like my entire head, my ear, it affects my ear. But when you were speaking, I, I just turned and I felt it was gone. You felt it was gone? Hallelujah. Now, there is a lady, while they were giving a testimony, there's a lady here. You felt like a cold sensation something just came upon you right now it's a miracle that god has given you who is that person come out you are in this row where are you come you felt like a cold sensation something just came over you come come this night god is bringing restoration oh father in the name of jesus let your anointing bring restoration for her right now right now in the name of jesus christ tremendous restoration i'm seeing a crown being put upon your head are you together are you together i'm seeing a crown oh you felt the same thing i'm praying for you madam the lord is averting cs the lord is averting cs because you see the anointing is on you the lord is averting cs i'm seeing a spirit standing by the theater and i'm seeing that this is even supposed to destroy this baby that they say this baby comes out and is affected but the anointing of the spirit is upon you right now as i'm speaking and i release the power of god right now let that demonic substance out of her now out of her in the name of jesus christ 
I see miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere Right now Is your family here? Is the time for the visitation? Where is our family? Please come. There is a whole deliverance for a family that God is doing here right now. I see that family. Please, where is our daddy and our mommy? Please appreciate them as they come. Enough of the nonsense of darkness. Please celebrate them as they come. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Lord, we see miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Sir. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a cause. This is what I'm seeing. As I look at you, the Lord is showing me this is a cause. Number one, it has tied down your finances completely down. This thing is so embarrassing, it has tied down everything. I don't know who is it in your family that has dreams. I see dreams of someone chasing somebody. I don't know which of your children or who now, but I'm seeing one of those people have dreams. That's their daughter. You see the power of God touching her, she's their daughter. She's the person with this case I'm mentioning. I'm seeing dreams and it's like people pursuing the person. This thing started right from your family. And this is already following this lady. Because I'm seeing now that the devil wants to put fibroid in her stomach. It's starting now as pain. I, I remove that fibroid right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cause that seed of fibroid by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing this woman crying before God in prayer. This is what I'm seeing. This woman has been a defense. I'm seeing her crying before God and saying, Lord, will you not wipe our tears in this family? But tonight, we see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. help you but every time they want to indicate helping you something just comes and nobody is willing to help you because I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing a body but I'm not seeing a face this thing has covered your glory whoever is supposed to help you misunderstands you and for some reason they uh, they don't help again hallelujah who is Adamu I'm hearing a name Adamu Adamu I'm hearing something that has to do with Adamu Adamu, please help, help those on Adamu, I'm hearing Adamu. Who is that? Adamu. Adamu. Huh? Where is your father? The person I'm talking about, his father's name is the one that is Adamu. Huh? What's your father's son name? Adamu. Adamu. Yes. God is giving Adamu a miracle. Yes. Your father, right? Where is he? In Nasarawa State. In Nasarawa State. Yes, sir. Because this enchantment that is done against your family enough is enough it's part of your prayer request right yes, number five six uh, number two and three yes, number two and three prayer requests yes, look at it there yes, that's sir. it number two and number three that's what you wrote Lord, read it yeah, read family. it miracle in your family yes, that's what i'm reading what you are writing and god is giving a miracle yes, a big miracle to adamu Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, right now, right now, right now. I see miracles everywhere. Love is a miracle. Miracles everywhere. The spirit of God is ministering to me. I'm seeing the anointing of the spirit. I'm looking at a map and I'm seeing the spirit of God going to Yola. Yola. A miracle is happening in Yola. And it's going to this lady's family. This lady, right? I'm seeing a miracle. But there are two other people from Yola. From Yola. I see the power of God moving. Two people from Yola. 
it will come like a tornado upon you it's a miracle that God is doing right there there is a lady's elder sister who has been barren I'm seeing the number three three years barren barren help them that lady is from your land she's an usher she's walking but the spirit of God I'm seeing is a wicked demon this is what I'm seeing that has been oppressing her family I don't know if she's from Yola or not but I'm seeing that God is doing a serious miracle sir I'm going to pray for you mommy I will minister to you madam the Lord is saying I should tell you that the crying is over the crying is over right now as I speak the power of God is coming on you the Lord is saying I should tell you the crying is over right now the angel of the Lord is pouring something that looks like oil upon your head pouring it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the anointing of the Holy Spirit pouring what looks like vials of oil now I curse this spirit I address you by the power of the Holy Spirit let this family go now 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 this curse that has tied down the family even the lawful captive shall be delivered he said for I will contend with them that contend with you right now the power of God is touching people I see deliverance 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 fire lift your hands everybody let's just interrupt this deliverance fire right now it will start touching people at the count of three father the angels of God there are many angels in this place bringing deliverance for families at the count of three let that fire come right now one two three receive it right now right now right now right now makaparatata bring them out deliverance for families outside I'm seeing the angels of the Lord go outside outside the power of God is moving it's like fire coming on families it's like fire it's like fire it's like fire it's like fire We see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. We see miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Father, where are those families you showed me in the place of prayer? That from the village. Now, I'm not one who just talks so much about village. But this one is from the village. I see an attack at the count of three. One, two, three. From the village. Those arrows back to sender. Shakatata. Leketata. Reketatata. From the village, I see enchantments. From the village, I see altars. I see covens. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. They are calling your names. From the village, from the village, enchantments, witchcraft, death, outside, outside, fire is falling. What fire is falling? Fire is falling from the village. Speakings of death, enchantments of death. The name above all names. Yahweh. We call you Yahweh.
I'm ready to pray for you now. I didn't just leave you. I need to pray for you. My God, there is massive deliverance going on in this place. My dear, lift your hands where you are. An angel of the Lord is touching you right now. Right now. Mama, an angel of the Lord is touching you. He's doing something in your husband's life. Your husband's life. There is a miracle that is happening. Madam, your time for a miracle has come. Come. This woman, this woman wearing pink. No, no, no. I'm that one. The one turning back. Yes, you, madam, come. Your time for a serious visitation has come. Let's stretch our hands towards daddy. Bring her. Be delivered now. I curse that spirit. Go! Stretch our hands towards daddy and mommy. Let's pray for them. Father, this plague must stop. I saw a curse. It was looking like a hollow over your head. It follows you everywhere you go and brings bad luck to your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, it's over. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I announce a new season. I announce a new season. Mommy, the spell is broken. Broken, 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 broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, I hold your hands in the name of Jesus and I announce to you that it's a new season. You will go back and experience dramatic turnaround. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't think it will come from all the channels you are planning. Unusual sources of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Madam, I want to pray for you. Do you have a daughter? Is she here? One is here? I'm seeing one of your child here. Where is the person? A girl? A lady? A girl, a girl yes. A lady, where is she? Please call her name, let her come. Daughter, where are you? Who is the person? She's wearing something like traditional dressing. Who is that? Come. This has been your desire that God will visit your family, right? It's been your desire, it's been your prayer yes, sir. that God yes. will visit your family. Yes, sir. And tonight, God has chosen to step in. See, it's an awesome thing when the light of God turns to you. Then you know that your situation has come to an end. I mustn't call you. It's not just by word of knowledge. It's not just by word of knowledge. lady is going to vomit something I'm seeing something that looks like a snake moving in her stomach this is like I don't know if it's poison this is something that has been put to this lady I curse that devil I curse you back to hell back to hell from where you came from hallelujah mommy please stand up let me pray for you man you can stand up please I want to pray for you. God is going to bring dramatic breakthrough to your life. Please, I want you to note it. Dramatic breakthrough. It will so surprise you. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, captivity comes to an end. I release supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And for you, supernatural breakthrough. Mama, I pray. The Lord told me that... The tears have come to an end. It's wiping your tears. Father, thank you for your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Remember not the former things the Lord says I should tell you. In this season, he's doing new things. He will change the heart of your husband in a way that you never imagined. He will do this for his glory. The spell of bad luck over your life is broken. Bad luck. There's something about your life that makes people hate you. It's a spirit. And there are people here. Lift your hands, everybody. I'm praying for you. Whatever makes people hate you for no reason, I want you to know that it's not normal. You will see what will happen right now. There are people here. I know that.
people have those kinds of things but there are people with those things it's like an aura on you as i was ministering to her the lord said minister to the house father where are they right now in the name of jesus let the anointing locate them inside and outside that spell of bad luck right now right now in the name of jesus 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 justina the lord is bringing miracles to your family miracles to your family i'm seeing a lady from is it oka oka that should be east I'm, I, oka is anyone from like that i'm seeing a lady our minister generally will pray for the sick now but i just want to flow oka oka is there someone like that please if you are like that you can make your way to the front the lord wants me to pray for that family my dear you with a white hair tie that lady you turning back lift your hands where you are i don't know what it is that i'm seeing but god is destroying an embargo over your life and family lord jesus i destroy it right now in the name of jesus where you are standing i destroy it by the power of the holy spirit you are from there you are from Oka. Where is that? Anambra State. Anambra State. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. You're also from there? Huh? Make your way to the front. You are from there too. Three of you. Look at me. You cannot be a victim, you and your sisters, of the wickedness of people in the village. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hold my hands. Father, it must end. This must end. It must end by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. This is, this is, I'm seeing enchantment. This is, this is witchcraft to produce consistent failure in life. You and your sisters, I pray for you. Father, you are going to visit them in this season. You are going to visit them in this season. In the name of Jesus. I want to minister to you. You are from there too. Come stand. The Lord gave me that word and said to minister to the people. As I lay my hands and minister to you. I want you to know that everything that does not represent God. Huh? And everyone pursuing you in your dream. And disturbing you. It must end in the name of Jesus Christ. For you. There is, there is, I'm seeing something that looks like a crown in your head. We must remove it because it's not God that put that crown. Out in the name of Jesus Christ, that devil is a liar. Take it off of her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? Abia State. Abia State. We are going to pray for you. Tell your mother that a deliverance is coming for her, then a breakthrough. Deliverance first, then breakthrough. For the deliverance, she will see it in a dream. It's like something will be chasing her to catch her and she will see somebody who will snatch her out. It's a dream connoting deliverance. Father, visit this family. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. You are a student here? Huh? Yes. We must pray for you so that the spirit that destroys men when they are about to finish huh? in your family, we must stop it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glorify yourself, O God. I curse this spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, everyone. Before I begin to minister to the sick, God is bringing deliverance to families right now. We are going to shout Jesus at the count of three. This is not just to you. But God is stepping into families. Some of you never knew that what is happening physically in your family is as a result of all kinds of things. Devils. Lift your hands, everybody. At the count of three, you shout Jesus at the top of your voice. And the power of God will move mightily in this place. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you step into families and end every oppression and every captivity. Right now, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every family, shaka ta 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 under any demonic siege my goodness the power of god is already touching people right now 
at the count of three let that shout be like a code in the spirit one two three be delivered now 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 altars be broken altars be broken over families over families inside and outside and those following online i break it right now every family under any spell every family that's right kabatakata bring them out shakatatata every family under any spell oh you must leave them you must leave them i speak to those spirits hear my voice in the name of jesus there is no hiding place for you you must go you must go you must go it's time for their deliverance you must go hallelujah my goodness god is doing miracles right now god is so help that lady please help them sisters lift your hands i want to pray for just the sisters something remarkable will happen right now remarkable there is a spirit that puts women in bondage because when one woman is in bondage it can affect a thousand men there are ladies oh my goodness the fire of god will move not small sisters lift your hands lord by fire as the sisters cry that spirit that seraph that follows ladies and causes them visiting them in dreams as you shout jesus my goodness i pray that those fallen spirits that will not let you go that did not keep their original estate they will be judged right now father locate every one of these sisters right now one two shout jesus right now right now right now right now right now those spirits go 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 lift your hands there are people here strange dreams strange dreams in the night you sleep in the night and you have all kinds of strange dreams from men or women or animals coming to sleep with you or people tying your legs and you see what is happening in the day whether you believe it or not is not the issue i want to settle those things right now lift your hands lord where are these people from the dream realm from the realm of the spirit as you shout the name jesus anyone under this condition some of you that's what is responsible for masturbation some of you that's what is responsible for pornography some of you that's what is responsible for delay lift your hands father those spirits that use the realm of dreams and visions and manipulate destinies manipulate the stars of your people at the count of three we set them on fire fire comes upon you now many guys will be affected one two three oh i bring you deliverance in the name of jesus i cause those spirits causing delay you must leave now 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 Go, 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 go. 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 That spell of delay must leave. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. I'd like you to pray and cause delay from your life. In the next one minute, open your mouth and say enough is enough. 
I must move forward. Pray. Please pray. Take it seriously. It's called a miracle service. It's called a miracle service. Pray. Lord, I'm tired of delay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Prophesy. I'm moving forward. This is the ninth month. By the blood of Jesus. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. Under this anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like you to shout after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Every gate and every obstacle standing between me and the next level by the blood of Jesus I bring those gates down open your mouth and begin to pray gates of limitations standing before me and my desired heaven gates of limitation standing before me in the name of Jesus gates of limitation standing before me and my desired heaven outside make sure you are praying pray you will return with a testimony you are praying under a corporate anointing hallelujah hallelujah Say after me in the name of Jesus. Everything that belongs to me and is not yet in my life in this season by the power of faith I command them to manifest. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Come on Koinonia. Everything. Every lifting. Every glory. That belongs to me and has refused to manifest by the power of faith even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were hallelujah hallelujah Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every legal access. Every claim. The devil has. Over my life. Over my family. By the blood of Jesus. I declare that I'm free. By the blood of Jesus. I command my liberty. I declare. That the price. For my freedom has been paid therefore satan stay off my life open your mouth and begin to pray stay off my life the price has been paid by the death of jesus every cause every yoke every spell every enchantment by the blood of jesus Pray. Sheba kata balada bakata prekere balada bosh. Mondo to prokoto balada bakata prekere balada bosh. Raka daga 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 hallelujah i want you to listen to me carefully i'm doing this by the spirit listen many breakthroughs are happening to people just from this simple prayer i wish that god could open your eyes to see the things that are happening to people 
you are, this is not just your normal prayer you are under a heavy anointing listen human beings have prophetic atmospheres the ark of God came into the house of Obed Edom and brought him good Jonah entered a boat and made people to be destroyed listen some of you are good people but you are carrying a spiritual atmosphere that brings bad luck to you and everybody connected to you that's what prophets sometimes will see and because they don't have discernment they call people witches and wizards they are not witches and wizards they are sincere people but they carry a spiritual climate that everywhere they go it makes certain things to happen do you understand now some of you are sincere people but you are carrying atmospheres that makes everything around your life to fail we are going to pray say after me in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus this is strong prayer this simple prayer you are saying you will see the result instantly i like you to pray and say every atmosphere that i carry that does not come from god and is responsible for bad luck and misfortune in my life tonight i declare let that atmosphere change lift your voice and pray seriously lift your voice and pray seriously every negative atmosphere kaparatata pray miracles are happening pray every negative atmosphere pray that brings bad luck i may be a sincere person but it brings repeated misfortunes i challenge it whether ancestral whether territorial i challenge it i change my spiritual climate by the blood of jesus hallelujah two more prayer points and we'll pray for the sick hallelujah we are going to pray a prayer of restoration do you believe in restoration nothing is ever truly lost it only leaves your presence I like us to pray yeah that's the song everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen one more time forget about your situation just prophesy just prophesy you may not know how it will happen just prophesy one more time prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me shout it say in the name of jesus all the years all the fortunes every opportunity every access that has been lost in my life by the mercy of god i command them to come back to me go ahead and pray this is a serious prayer point all the years all the fortunes all the opportunities all the access that have passed your life pray like samson pray like hezekiah pray let there be a restoration and i will restore to you the years that the canker worm the palmer worm 
the caterpillar hallelujah hallelujah we're going to pray the last prayer point listen there are spirit entities that challenge and haunt the destiny of people in the realm of the spirit when Jesus was born certain men saw his star from the east and they started following that star and the moment they announced to Herod a king is born Herod said ah a king he said please find where he is and tell me so that I will come and worship him but his intention was to kill him you are going to pray over your destiny please take this prayer point seriously shout it say in the name of Jesus I declare that my destiny is secured by the blood every act of witchcraft that has tied down my destiny right now by the blood of Jesus release it now pray pray release my destiny release my destiny my prophetic potential release it release it hallelujah prophesy after me say in the name of Jesus this is my year of the rain it's a new dimension for me I'm breaking every limitation say it again I'm breaking every limitation and I declare that in this remaining part of the year an anointing comes upon my life that causes me to triumph that causes me to excel go ahead and pray it lord is my year of the rain an anointing comes upon my life a speedy walk by the holy ghost a speedy walk of restoration a speedy walk hallelujah we're going to do two things at the same time right now listen if there is any trace of sickness and infirmity in your body it's time for it to die are we together now are we together now please just address these people we're going to have all those people come and line up while that is happening please i beg you if you do not write anything in your prayer request please if you need papers maybe the ushers can pass it we are going to be praying on everybody's request those on facebook some of your loved ones you are permitted to switch on your switch on your phone and tell them please send in your prayer request because god is about to do something right now while you are doing that be praying in tongues everybody be praying in tongues while sick people all those who brought sick people make your way to the front very quickly please very quickly all those trusting god for healings and miracles please just line up everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be restored unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be restored the devil is a liar. He must Everything let you go tonight. That was stolen shall be restored unto you. Hallelujah. We don't just lay hands on people. I know that it takes a lot of time. But it's the way God is directing us. It's not just ordinary hand laying. It's a prophetic point of contact. Some of you are coming out for sickness. But the truth about it is that there is an oppression of darkness. Is that the mama with cancer? Okay. No, no problem. No problem. She can come. 
if she cannot stand just give her a seat let her sit down please those who are weak and cannot stand please you can give them a seat so that they don't collapse the, the woman with cancer if she, if she cannot come just i'll minister to her everything that was lost make sure you are writing your prayer request please everything that was Hallelujah. All of you that are coming out, I want you to know that we are patient enough to minister to us. There are all kinds of ministries. This ministry is like a spiritual factory. It's like a spiritual workshop. It's where we dirty our hands on the job. And as I minister to us, please, I want our hearts to be open. Don't just stand watching the power of God touch people. The moment I lay hands on you and minister to you, I want you to receive. You can go back to your seat. Some of you will be under the anointing. It doesn't matter. As I pray for you, you don't have to scrounge. I will lay hands on everybody. It's going to be a quick walk. It will take time. Please, when you write your request, pass it to the ushers. In case there are things, listen, listen. Let me teach you how to maximize this prayer point. Don't just write things carelessly. While you are writing, be praying in tongues. Because the Spirit of God will bring into your mind, bring you into remembrance. It may even be a matter that is not your own. You heard the story of the gentleman. Dropped a prayer point and nine months later, they are coming with twins. There is nothing God cannot do. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over your people. There are powers tying down their destinies. But you have put this miracle service as a prophetic platform. Let there be miracles. Go ahead. All of us, we can join praying in tongues while I pray for these people. Occasionally worship team, you will help us. Lord, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this. I don't know. They can't see it on screen. It's not clear. This is a leg that is bent. Father, do a miracle. They didn't fix it well. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Let the power of God do a miracle on this leg. In the name of Jesus. Almighty God, you know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord. Out! Now you be God. Almighty God, you know me, my Lord. 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 Now you be God, oh. Point number two, Lord, I take full delivery of everything you package uniquely for me tonight. Lift your voice, I will not miss out on anything. Yeah. Hallelujah. Who brought this woman, please? Huh? What's the issue? What's wrong? Chief. Hallelujah. We'll soon be rounding up. Let's just hear. No, no, no. Keep us standing. What's wrong? I'm paralytic. Nice. Paralyzed. Yes. Mama, can she talk? Yes. Mama, for how long? I paralyzed did, yes i went to the house and met she can't walk on her own she can't walk very well mama in the name of jesus christ i curse this spirit 
it's okay in the name of Jesus mama look at me in Jesus name lift your hand lift it go don't look at just lift it put it down lift it again paralyzed hand look at this look at this mama clear the way for her in the name of Jesus Christ walk come don't hold her come 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 Turn around, turn around, walk up, come, come. come on, give Jesus it's praise. Miracles everywhere, miracles everywhere. Paralyzed, miracles everywhere. Right now, right, we see miracles, we see miracles. of paralysis it never returns to you again in the name of jesus you are the son that brought her you are, she's not your mom yes. but you brought her yes. i pray for you may you never lack helpers in your life because you are a young man you are not related to her yet you carried mama out of compassion this miracle is because of you i'm laying hands on you and i prophesy to you all the days of your life may help us be around you like peace in the name of Jesus Christ for as long as your eyes can see the sun you will find a helper in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you celebrate mama God bless you there's a miracles everywhere make sure you submit your prayer request everywhere I have come to the end of myself take over take over I have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah I have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah I have come to the end of Take over, take over, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over, I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. voice and begin to pray say Lord I need help mention the areas you need his help if you don't need any help pray for koinonia pray for the ministry hey, la, 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 
Lord, I need help. Pray. I need help in my marriage. Pray. I need help in my finances. I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Lord, I know it is within your power to help me. I ask for your help. Let your power address my case tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know. Oh, it is within your power to give me a husband. It is within your power to give me a wife. It is within your power to cause my business to flourish. It is within your power to bring restoration. It is within your power to give me a child. It is within your power to cure HIV. It is within your power to deliver me. Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. From all that I've said, you know the area that affects you. Say, Lord, I take responsibility. The part you cannot do for yourself, you will do. But the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, we take responsibility. In the name of Jesus, we receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace to live by the truths that we know. We receive grace to be convicted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shortly we are going to begin ministering. We'll be very fast today. I want to see how we can close on time. So we're going straight to the point. Hallelujah. We'll try to do everything very, very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible. Hallelujah. 
you are going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself are you ready now please i want you to speak it these are instructions from god i know you have been praying in your secret place it's not the same thing you are doing now open your mouth and prophesy everything god will do for you lift your voice and pray i walk out of here healed tonight come on now ss you must leave me tonight as you must leave me tonight confusion must end in my life tonight that idea that i need for my business that idea that i need for promotion that restoration i refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration that mantle that renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the lord jesus christ pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life pray that you must be delivered this night every spirit tying your family every spirit tying your progress pray enough is enough he must live my life lord i must be delivered today hallelujah 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 in recent time i have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance i have seen this all my life but i have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time there are people standing outside just staring at others forget about them and be focused you know what you are going through miracle service is not it's not a marriage ceremony it's not an album dedication you don't come and just watch and smile you come with anger in your heart and say lord i, I won't go back that way who told you ss cannot be healed who told you as cannot change who told you the the biological problem cannot go who told you you cannot get breakthrough lord jesus we thank you we release this atmosphere to you and your power lord i know that you will do amazing things even in this place we trust you for a quick walk there are lives there are destinies that need to be changed lord there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives let not one of them escape the power of the holy spirit there are sick bodies that need to be healed oh god let not one of them escape the healing power of god there are families that have come with burdens lord i pray your people have come with prayer requests impossible situations but they believe in you so lord we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah now while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality 
It's a revelation that God gave us. Hallelujah. During the dinner, those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers. So in one minute just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start please if you are yet to write let's just give them an opportunity please help one another with um, papers you can feel free to put on your phone contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer request if it's possible there are many who have sent their own hundreds online Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please make sure you write everything. Write everything you are trusting God to do in your life. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
this lady and I see a spirit a very serious spirit hold my hands the Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit because this is something that wants to destroy your life is your sister here where's her sister is her sister here is she here to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family there is a spirit that I saw and this is something that has to do with somebody dying hallelujah who is here where is she please let's save time um, very quickly so that we can we have to pray I'm seeing death in your family this is somebody's obituary God wants to avert you can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. For you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want to do. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Not, not Pastor Femi. Femi. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one. From where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. You sir. came from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire and yes. take you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought sir. you came to receive. I'll call you several times. Eh? I'll call your number several times. You not be picking. <laughs> you will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yes. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria, Victoria, I hear a name Victoria, this is Victoria, let me just respond to this. Victoria, Victoria, there is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype, genotype, you're trusting God for a change of genotype, I don't know if it has to do with um, S S A S, anyone like that? This is a Victoria. I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate. Come. We have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage. Look at me. We have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage. Huh? Because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest. You understand? This is, this is, the devil is not going to lord it over you. We are going to pray. Please, I want you to believe. I don't have to call your case. I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me. And then we'll just get into prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother? Who is sick? Who is sick in your family? My mom. Because I'm seeing that, ah, we have to pray. 
I have we have to pray. Hmm? This is December. Your mother will just sleep and they will tell you, I'm not a prophet of doom. They will tell you that she's dead. She has been talking about death. We have to rebuke this thing. She has been seeing dead people in her dream. She sleeps and she sees dead people. And they will be keep stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them. Some of them are people who have died before. See, there are families here with those things. But we are going to deal with it. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this family. That spirit of death over the family. In the name of Jesus, we roll it away. We roll it away by the power of the Holy Spirit. And for you, I curse this spirit that is in you. In the name of Jesus, when the time for deliverance comes, the Lord is going to set you free completely in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Your hands are blessed. Listen, your hands are blessed. God expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself. Your hands are blessed. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, that these hands are blessed hands are you get what i'm saying you have to pray and trust god for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the lord jesus christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things god is giving you number one god is giving you wisdom number two god is giving you stability huh i see you but i see like a wind you are here and there god needs to give you stability Father, you will give him stability. In the name of Jesus. Come, my dear. I pray for you. You will marry a foolish man. Say amen. I curse every spirit delaying her marriage. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke that spirit. Come. Um, I have to pray for you. Hold my hands. Lord, she must be free today. Today is her day of liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke this spirit. You must leave her. I see you in the spirit. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, do you love Jesus? Very well. Huh? Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? My brother. Your brother. Where is he? Love. Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start the ministry. What's his name? Huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying, but as the days unfold, you will see God honor you. Father, let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Shabra Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. It's the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences. You see, sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of god you will need the wisdom of god you will need his grace to give you direction and i'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of god is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals 
in fact god is going to start with families that's what i see god doing hallelujah praise the lord you've heard this happen again and again i don't know why god does this but the lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living god lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus from the depth of your heart i challenge every spirit i challenge every voice and every altar oh god that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight lord i pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of god is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of jesus inside and outside i release the power of the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit right now right now right now right now right now i see the power of god along this region right here where the ministers are staying i see the power of god right now i cast that spirit i challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there are people who are tied to covenants i hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of god will begin to set people free are you ready now at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we release deliverance outside we release mighty deliverance now lift your hands you don't have to shout just keep it lifted hallelujah i'm going to begin to speak and prophesy and for all those who are affected the power of god will begin to touch them bring them out here in the name of jesus lift your hands now i pray every family here under any spell every family lord where are they right now let the power of god touch them touch them now 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 right now in the congregation every family under any kind of spell i bring deliverance right now i bring deliverance right now in the mighty name of jesus i bring deliverance help that lady i bring deliverance right now right now keep your hands lifted right now father identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted i'm going to pray i see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals i'm hearing stagnation that's what i'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside lord wherever those people are get set right now as i speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it it begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside 
I see people being touched outside. Hallelujah. This row, lift your hands. Just this row. Lift your hands. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you. The moment I stretch my hands, the power of God will move in dramatic ways. And I'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough. That's what is coming. Please make sure you believe. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. It will be a mighty move of the spirit. Lord, I do as you have instructed. And at the count of three, let there be breakthroughs. One, two, three. Help them, please. Help them, please. We command it in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. lift your voice and begin to pray every force that has tied down my life you must leave me right now pray as some of you are praying the power of god will be touching you every spirit that is responsible Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Only the ladies. I want to pray for you. Only the ladies. A woman represents a gate in the spirit. And there are many ladies. Whose gates are tied and closed. But the Bible says to open up the two leaf gates. It will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, I pray in a mighty way let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three as they shout Jesus, let those gates be open. Get set now ladies. One, two, three. Open now. Open now. Open now. Shake it, take it up. My goodness, I see padlocks opening. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Open up those gates in the name of Jesus. Open up those gates. Open up those gates now. Open up those gates now. Open up those gates now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Lift your voice and violently pray in one minute. And command that spirit to leave you. Go ahead and pray please. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You must leave my family. Just keep praying. It's a new season by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who came with this woman? I'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of jesus 
she doesn't hear very well too in the name of jesus i command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give jesus praise give jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long 20 something years 20 how many years uh, it's getting who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother how many years more than 20 years where are you from we are from sabongari mama you believe jesus will touch yes, you yes sir i tell you there is nothing jesus cannot do yes, there is sir. the anointing you believe it yes sir say jesus jesus heal me heal me say jesus jesus heal me heal me father you died for this reason right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now look at what is happening to her in the name of Jesus mama hold my hands walk come 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 try to climb now lift your leg try to lift it it didn't used to open before oh I see okay okay go ahead in the name of Jesus Christ lift it and do what you could not do just do it do it open the other one in the name of Jesus God is already giving you a miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit can you see a miracle happening she could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of Jesus Christ look at look at this God is giving this woman a eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes I cannot stand for five minutes but right now God is touching you your back will be paining you in the name of Jesus Christ, this perfection has started. That backache, I lay my hands and I release the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, just keep under the anointing. She'll stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? Somebody help that woman. Please, don't, if we talk to you, speak whatever language you can speak. There will always be somebody to interpret it it doesn't have to be that you must speak english whose, whose mother is this eh? well done mommy what's what's the issue what brought her here she has been complaining of different illness mama what's wrong with you i got bp i got bp this 20 day my blood they move like this my as baby. i'm looking at our mother mama as I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? And then it comes towards your chest area. Yes, then sometimes you feel pain at your back here. Yes, sir. That mm -hmm. devil will leave you right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus? I'm going to pray that God will use this lady. Because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her. You. What's your name? Faith. Faith? Yes, sir. You will be a woman of faith. You believe that? Let me pray for you. Father, anoint this lady. Let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I pray that God will use you mightily. Mama, let's pray for you. Lay your hands on your chest, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is healing you right now. High blood pressure, high blood pressure and every other sickness. I rebuke it right now. And I command the spirit that oppresses you to leave. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. If you know you are involved in anything, whether maybe you have a shop, you are in business, and nothing is working, just lift your hands. I want to pray for those people right now. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Please believe. Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. Downwards. What? You can walk. It's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't see it for long. Unless I lie down, I can't stand for long. Okay, mama, just clear the way. Let mama, you are her son. You're welcome. Let her just sit down there. We'll soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to, listen, listen. We are going to pray. We'll invite people to come out now. Well, I'm going to pray for the sick. I'll lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she coming out? Uh, my problem one year, I'm eating in the dream. You are eating the dream? Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year, non-stop? Last month, on um, today's 15 days, my stomach, my back, in the pain. I don't be sleep. I don't be eat. Last, uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. Well, we we'll pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no. Our mothers, don't worry. When we start praying for the sick, this is what we'll do. We may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones. So that they can go back. They may not have that strength. Will that be fine? So as you line up, if you see any elderly man or woman, you can just push them forward so that we minister to them. And then they can go and sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But lift your hands now. I want to release breakthrough. I mean, I, I mentioned the case right now. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise Him. I will sing to Him a new song. And I will praise Him. I will sing to Him a new song. I will praise Him. I will sing to Him a new song. And I will praise Him. Every force, Kabbalah, Tabbalah. Keep your hands lifted. That has tied down your business. All the works of your hands. Some of you will feel fire on your hand. Literal fire. It will start burning on your hands right now. In the name that is above all names. I pray. As that fire comes on your hand. Ideas begin to come to you. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. It's already happening to people right now. It's happening to people. The fire is coming on people. Help this brother, please. The fire is coming on people right now. Your hands, ideas, ideas. This fire represents ideas. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
praise the lord now as we pray for the sick i know there are many people here who are sick please be orderly as you come while that is happening every prayer request please pass it over to the ushers you have your prayer request you can use the time to call some of your loved ones by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe they'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting god for a healing miracle make your way to the front now and begin to pray there is a god that heals here yes mama please don't cry can you get a handkerchief please help our mother with this handkerchief please please make your way to the front it's called a miracle service look how many people are trusting God for healing forward all the elderly ones to the front please all our elderly ones looked around and I realized that you've been so good to me standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father peace who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more source of my strength now you the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence now you the other source of my life the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence show you look at this oh my god put a camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary who is her mother this is her mother crying who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the... Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on a... What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have been not... They have not able to be... No diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabuda Suki Hausa? We will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she'll speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh huh. One of the two um, cancer. Cancer. Uh huh. Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Cancer. The eight. Look at. And uh, 
Basr. Amen. Basr. What's that? Pile, uh -huh. cancer, HIV. Uh, Look at this. Uh, Buddha Oko. Buddha Oko. Mm. Tell her she brought, she brought her expecting. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Kinzo oh, Kina. Can I also so say? Kedan Kasina. Kedan Kasina she never But is that not your language? Mama Kerkita, we are going to pray for her. I'm going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Can I How old is she? Help her. She, she. You would think this girl is, is 10 years. She's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my God. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My open, my joy. Hey, my comfort. Source of my life, strength of my life, I open my door. Hallelujah. My dear, my dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ. I command that spirit of infirmity, that devil of HIV, that devil of cancer. I command you to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ. I will ask you people to help her get up eventually. My dear, look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release strength to you. Strength to you. Strength to you. Try to move your hands or your legs. Go ahead. Try to move your hand or your leg if you can. Do you have enough strength for that? Can she hear me? She's so weak, she can't even hear me. It's well, just leave her to lie down with the glory as I pray for other people. I mean, she's so weak, she cannot even hear me. God, the devil is wicked. Listen, I assure you that whatever it is, what's that? Okay, the request, don't worry, we'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and we'll try to lift her up and see what happens. Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me. But it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. But mama, look at me. Come please. What's wrong with her? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since uh, where would they for Abuja? Now, the bubble. Where the bomb will blow. So, what? I'm, I'm selling something for Nyanya. Uh, I'm selling food with her. Where the bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. Uh, oh, bomb blast. Uh, yes, I now fall down. I know I cannot get out. They carry me to go hospital. Oh, the bomb blast. blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. So it affected you. Eh. Uh, so I can't get out. They carry me go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months go no go. They carry me go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go no they, go. Got, they carried you go where? Eh, uh, flying man. May go treat me. Say hospital no feed you. A doctor. 
Oh, how about list? Eh. Okay, Fulani man. it's okay. The Fulani man collected 50,000. You know, I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen, let me, let me press it down. Any man, I don't care who, who tells you to bring money to get a miracle, even if it's me, run away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mama, our mothers, I'm begging you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man, any priest, any prophet, any pastor, any apostle, any human being, herbalist, whoever, that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle, tell him, Joshua Selman said he's a thief. He's not a man of God. Are we together? And now we start the cure the thief. The, if you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring bad, bad dream in the night. So, tell her that four months, go and no go. The man now time to bring 30,000 again. I said, I'm not even seeing food. That should bring 30,000 again. Uh, I'm not seeing food to to my children again now. And now start the bed, the man, no grief. That mommy and my girl live for some yeah. room before. We mommy, for some what, what? Now I can't serve, I can't serve my room here. Come and say, come and I work out for prayer to prayer. But I didn't hear prayer for you. When they say, I know they come. I know they come. I will just lie down, they feel pain every Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia? On your way going, they just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you, that you make your way here alone is a sign that God is ready to visit you. Okay, what, what, what exactly? Enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. The so, machine just come. You say where the grass and at this church. He says, Oh, make a go, make a go in offer. Welcome the usher people. Say, Well, they go, they go to my church. I know people worker. These people can serve God. Then then carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God carry bless our hand. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish. They come, they address me. Say, Make a no hurry to enter. And now when they start the play, I entered through it. That I just stand up with my, with my now this hand they just stand for all this side. And now suddenly so stand up. Uh, stand. God come give me a condition. Strength. My power. What what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Yeah, now you so. Oh your leg. Oh I see. Father. It's, it's okay, madam. Ma mama. Uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now, eh? In Jesus' name, we pray for you. If she couldn't walk, oh, there is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil, leave her. You think it's bomb blast, but oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her, and now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus, madam. Look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. In the name of Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. You can see that it's happening gradually. Gradually. These hands were paralyzed. Madam, look at me. Try to lift it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Look at this. Lift it. Lift it. Drop it down. Lift it again. Lift it again. Completely paralyzed. Completely paralyzed. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A miracle is happening. Do what you couldn't do. The devil is a liar. The more you take that step of faith, the more you see God stepping in. Father, this miracle is perfected in our body in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Just keep exercising her. We'll have to pray. Please, any special case, we'll minister it. Our time is gone. I saw the spirit of death. She was supposed to die in that bomb blast. I didn't even know it was Nyanya bomb blast. That Boko Haram bomb blast. May you never be a victim of any man's wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ. The moment I pray for you, please, as you return back, check yourself and do what you couldn't do before. If it's a striking, striking testimony, we'll just take it here. Worship team, lead us through sessions of worship as we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus.
connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. Stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus. You will have a child. Make sure you are praying. One month, two weeks, a hole in his heart. If God does not step in, this baby will either die or something will happen. I tell you, we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We can agree. Father, we reject this. We reject this. As you are rejecting it for this child, so it will be in your life. Reject it. Lord, your church is praying. We change this report. Baby, we speak to you. Baby, you will not die. You will not die. You will not die. We close this hole. Hallelujah. Go and check him. Don't cry. Don't cry. Eh? You are not going to lose your baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to pray. It's going to be very, very fast. As I lay my hands on you, just, it's just a touch. There is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you. Just a touch. 
the Lord is wiping your tears the Lord is wiping your tears and not just because you are crying physically this woman is coming with so much pains the Lord is wiping your tears now in the name of Jesus out of her that demon that causes pain the name of Jesus Christ
Ushers, you can begin to bring the prayer request forward. Please, everybody, inside and outside, make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough. So please, forward the prayer request. If you still have yours, just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly. Please, guys, let's do this very fast so that we can finish. As hands are being laid on you, I just want you to believe that God is touching you.
Stretch your hands. Do, do we have all the prayer? Please stand up, everybody. We're wrapping up. Inside and outside. If you are yet to drop your prayer request, please make sure you send it. We believe this is this is it's not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write these requests to Joshua Selman, I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. Mommy, please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? To give me a quality spouse. To give you a quality spouse. 
this is what I'm looking at this woman and my heart had been drawn to her for a while madam you want to get married because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people look at me I stake my reputation on this prophecy that I will give you you hear me if a man does not come to marry you go and publish it in the newspaper that I lied you believe what I'm saying I will not implicate myself and be a fool like this because as soon as I looked at you you said spouse I saw a man putting a ring in your hand that's why I'm telling you what I'm saying you believe this be sure to return and give the testimony and everybody be sure to look at her you are seeing her today when she comes back with her husband so you don't say that this is stage manage father in the name of Jesus I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit okay just cover her I'm going to pray let me have okay it's props water I wish there's any other one just to pray on it and then they'll give her she's too weak we can't even test her whether or not but I see her moving her legs and moving all of this this is ordinary okay this ordinary water we'll just pray on it since that's the only thing she tell her child, she but her child, she say me Father, I pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance. That as she takes this, oh God, let this be um, a cleansing agent. Let it be like a drug in her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can she hear you? Ask her how she's feeling now. I'm sorry, I forget this thing. So I'm a you take a chance. You see, she's gaining some strength. She couldn't move before, but we see her gaining some strength. Uncle, you don't. Can you see her gaining some strength? She's even moving. She's pushing her away. Same issue. Something is happening to her. Look at this. Are you seeing? Look at this. Look at this. By herself. Oh. This is the power of the Lord. This in itself is a miracle. If you saw the way they brought her. Mama. Brother, the Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We, we prayed on this. And um, Mama Gashi, Abata, Bakwa Benezesha, Kramata Dua, there was a son Abata. If you keep it there, all these children will come and pray. Stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray. Let's pray on this request. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here. Something about building a house. And it looks like you will not complete it. The Lord is saying before December 25th, you will enter that house. Please pray. Father, visit me. Talk to the Lord. Tell him your request is here.
Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. every request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. We release all kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands as I prophesy. Everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you, if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you, you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact. Not so. Prophecy is powerful. Very powerful. Please, I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart. This is where you get to receive everything. Shout Amen. This is where the fire gets to fall on your life. This is where everybody participates. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands on your head, I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom, help him please. Wisdom in the powerful name of Jesus. Supernatural wisdom. Understanding. Receive the impartation. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, everybody in life needs a helper. 
to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that fail be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of jesus listen i prophesy to you 
you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life i pray for your dreams and visions of the ideas god has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insight in the name of jesus from today i declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting god for restoration i pray for you i don't know what you have lost i command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what i'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no i'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of jesus christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of jesus christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the holy spirit i pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of jesus christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of jesus christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying lord jesus i'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the lord jesus christ has done and you are saying lord i want to surrender my life i've been living my life the way i want but i want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said i've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute i know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and i will lead you to give your life to jesus christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything i know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly God bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them god bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying i'm tired of playing games with god i want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the lord jesus. i want you to lift your right hand and say after me lord jesus please say it very seriously say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe in you tonight i surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of jesus i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life in jesus name father i pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them 
they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you in the name of jesus now i'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they will have your details and they will welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we're finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the lord now all those who are worshiping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the lord to bring you and bless you Look how many people God is bringing. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, thank you so much, Sas, Mas. Thank you for coming. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We're here. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.